Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany and here on this channel I post lots of videos on cleaning, hauls, cooking videos, and a transformation like this one here and there. I hope that you consider subscribing and joining the family. Today we are going to be making over this small powder room. We haven't really done anything to it since moving in about a year ago and it was definitely time to put my touch on it. So we're going to be painting, de redecorating, and adding adding a budget-friendly shiplap hack that you just have to see. I know this video is long, so if you only want to see how I do the shiplap or the final reveal, I'll post timestamps in the description and the comments for you so you can jump ahead. So to start, we're just going to go ahead and prep the area by removing all of the old decor, sweeping to make sure there's no dust or cobwebs or anything, and taping the walls. So high on a low, that's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know, yeah, I know No worse, no more, no I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh, no, no, no Always knew that you were so Guys, this bathroom is tiny, so it was very hard for me to film every little thing obviously so I just kind of filmed what I could and hopefully you'll be able to realize that you know I'm doing all the other parts as well because you know we're not gonna have a half white bathroom <laughs> stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah. baby going down 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 yeah yeah and I thought it's time I'm letting you go this is the area that we are going to be adding the shiplap to. This is um, the back of the bathroom, so it actually goes under our stairs, so that up there is actually ceiling. Um, but So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this area and start with the shiplap process. So I just wanted to see how wide the actual wall was before I started, but I don't know that this really proved to be very helpful with how I actually end up installing the shiplap. So this hack involves using laminate peel and stick flooring. My brother-in-law told me about this and he said that it is just gorgeous. He is actually a um, construction guy. He does like freelance stuff and he has been doing this a lot lately. So he did recommend using some Gorilla Glue adhesive, construction adhesive to help the panels stick even better. So I'm just applying that all over and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fit the first one to the wall. So I did press this each one for probably 20 seconds just to make sure that it stuck. And then in order to measure the area that I need to cut, I actually just brought another full one in and took a permanent marker, lined it up and drew, you know, off where I needed to cut. And that ended up working very, very well versus trying to measure it with a measuring tape because my measurements weren't ending up being right. I don't know how I was messing that up. But after I figured that out, I went ahead and cut several and really got into the groove of things and really got moving. Small tip guys, if you wanna use this Gorilla Adhesive, make sure that you actually cut the tip big enough because it makes it way, way easier to get out. You know, Don't be like me and be dumb and only cut a tiny little tip off and not even realize it until you've already like killed your arm trying to get this glue all over. dimension I was going back and forth with which side of the wall I, I used the longer panel on um, except this one right here I actually for some reason just messed it up and it was impossible to get the panels back off after I had stuck them on the wall without ruining my wall so I just left that one but all of the rest of them I went back and forth um, and just so for a heads up guys I am actually going to be painting this shiplap white um, so it's not going to stay this color um, which you'll find out later that I really wish I had painted some of these, especially the ones that I was putting behind the toilet before I put them on the wall. Once again, guys, don't be like me. 
take my lessons that I learned and do it differently when you apply yours. <laughs> So this is the next morning. I wanted to go ahead and let this dry really well before I painted either the wall or the shiplap. You can see that I was testing different color whites there um, and I actually ended up picking the bottom one versus the top one which was a little bit more off white. I wanted it to be a very stark white. You can also see that I added some caulking to the sides where the cutting was a little bit off but you won't be able to see that once I paint the whole thing white so that's another reason why I did end up going with the stark white right there is where some of that caulking is. But now that we have all of the shiplap on, I'm actually going to go ahead and paint the walls first just so I don't end up getting any of the dark blue paint on the shiplap after I've painted it white. It will be much easier to clean it up after beforehand. So for the paint, we are using the Sherwin-Williams color Naval and we are doing it in a eggshell finish. This color is gorgeous like I want this color everywhere in my house like everywhere on every inch of every wall in my house <laughs> of course I'm kidding but like seriously all this this color is gorgeous I did end up having to do two coats of this um, simply because it's just a darker color and it's really hard to cover completely and evenly with a dark color in one coat <laughs> found this mirror on Amazon but it was a natural wood color it had awesome reviews but the wood color is just not what I was going for so I'm taking the white paint that I'm going to paint the ship up with and doing several coats on top of the mirror so that they will match perfectly and this does turn out awesome as well I painted in the direction of the wood grains so that you would still be able to see them so after we have two coats of paint on the wall, we're going to go ahead and start painting the shiplap. I start with a paintbrush just because I, I don't know, in my little brain, I thought that maybe it, you would be able to see the grains in the laminate, like the faux wood grains better if I used a paintbrush. But y'all, this was very difficult to get it even. It was very difficult to, um, like not have a bunch of crazy paintbrush strokes so I do the, the first coat with a paintbrush but I actually end up switching to a small roller on the second coat and I do two coats on this shiplap as well in closer to me I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're 
off my radio now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I I mentioned this once already, but y'all, if you were going to do this behind your toilet, paint the panels before you put them on the wall. That was definitely my biggest fail in this entire project. It took forever. I kept getting paint on the toilet and having to wipe it. I kept getting paint on the floor and having to wipe it up. It was just awful. Your girl really messed up there. I really should have painted them before I put them on. But we got it done. It looks good in the end. So even though I suffered through this part... <laughs> I will take this as a win. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you. Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad Y'all, can we just talk about how much faster it went when I switched to a roller? It was unbelievable Once again, major fail on my part Don't try to do it with a paintbrush Use the roller <laughs> but i need you and you're off my radar now i've lost you telling you that i need you but you're off my radar now found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets it started fun but now i'm into deep into this flow a zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want Okay y'all, so now it is time to hang up all of the new decor that I have purchased for this project um, uh, Right here I'm actually using some lipstick to mark where I need to put the screws on the walls I found that tip in some YouTube video and whoever that was saved my life I have saved my wall so many holes since finding that tip so thank you to whoever you were <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get all of this decor hung up and then we will do a final reveal which I am just so 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 excited about I'm like an outcast from pillar to post there's no denial I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold it's really a bad reception out there where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I lost you Yeah, I lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now
Okay guys, it is time to reveal the final product. This is what you see from the entrance of the bathroom. Oh, I'm just so in love with this. So that wreath is from Hobby Lobby. The mirror, I've already told you where I got that from. And then the both the towel and the soap dispenser I picked up at Home Goods, along with this Ray Dunn powder room sign. I just I just cannot believe how well this project turned out. I am just in awe of myself <laughs> um, because I really was worried that it wasn't going to turn out. And here is the shiplap. That um, plant on the back of the toilet is also from Home Goods, or it might have been Marshall's. Here's an up close of the shiplap. I did two coats of the white paint on this, and it just turned out beautifully. Like I am just so obsessed with this. This I'm just so obsessed. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want to see more content like this. Um, and let me know down below if you try the ship up hack or if you've heard of it, you know, whatever. Let me know. Let's talk in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.